Hey guys, we're still working on our old Chevy and we made some pretty good progress. Now, a while back we was able to spray our Chevelle and boy did it turn out nice. It's made quite a transformation. If you remember back, we drug it out of a barn. It got completely torn down, removing everything that we could. After that, we added a bunch of hours of sanding and body work so that we could spray on a custom color that we're calling Bowtie Blue. The next step that we're going to do to this old girl is polish it out. Now, this step isn't really required, but it can take a paint job that looks pretty good and make it look great. Now, watching someone sand isn't a whole lot of fun, so let me bring you up to speed to where we're at right now. We began by wet sanding this fender down, removing all the orange peel that it had on it, starting with 1000 grit and then moving up to 1500. After that, we used the DA with some 3000 on it to help smooth it out a little bit more. We're going to be using a foam pad to polish out our fenders. That's always a good idea to look at the surface that's going to be doing the work because you don't want to find any hidden jewels. Look to see if it has any debris or trash stuck on it because if it does, it can damage or scratch your paint you're trying to shine back up. We're in pretty good shape so we can move on. Also take just a second and wipe down and clean the panel that you're about to buff. Just like that buffer pad, you want the surface to be clean. You don't want to mess it up by something being on it because you've been working so hard to make this thing look nice. Spray on some clean water, wipe it down, it's that simple. With that done, you're pretty much ready to start slinging some goo. Well, kinda. There isn't any real need to slather this thing in compound. All you need is a couple dime size amount kind of spread out on the panel. Also, you want to make sure that the area that you're trying to buff is about a one foot by two foot. You get much bigger than that, well, the compound's going to start drying out and that's going to cause you some more work. First, like we said, we'll put a few dollops of some compound onto the panel and slowly work it around. You'll want to have your buffer set on a low RPM. We have this one on 1000. Keep the buffer moving. If you stay in one spot too long, you'll run the risk of rubbing through the clear and getting into your base coat. This polish that we're using has a two-step process. The second step is similar to the first, but you use less material with the same technique. So with a little quality time with your buffer and a bit of rubbing, you can admire your work. Well, that looks pretty good. I gotta polish up the rest of this fender and the rest of the car. Guess I better get to work.